<laughs> Students must <laughs> fall. <laughs> October 2015, Rose University was shut down due to protest action led by students and activism groups within the institution. Naleri Rafiwe Mashishi, a Rhodes SSC member and human rights activist, was one of hundreds of students determined to bring about change. At first I decided that I was never ever going to be in the SRC ever. And my first year I was very apathetic towards the SRC to the point where I didn't even know who the SRC president was. And so coming into the SRC has been a bit of an adjustment in terms of my perception of the university and of the SRC because now when, when you get into the SRC you're, you have a lot more information that you have access to that you didn't have access to before. Naledi openly speaks about her negative and positive experiences of the protest. The thing about Fees Must Fall is that I am sincerely happy that it happened and it had a very strong impact obviously and we, you know, we achieved all the goals that we wanted to. We had decided that we were going to fight for no fee increase. That's what we wanted. Fee decrease would have been ideal but no in fee increase was what we were fighting for. Some people thought we were fighting for the minus 15% decrease and then some people thought that we were fighting for free education. Like, um, which. It's not possible at this point in time. I mean, it's definitely what we're fighting for in terms of a long-term goal, but at this point in time, it's not possible. And so when Fees Must Fall ended, there were a lot of people who were very dissatisfied because they said, no, but education is not free. The low light was um, Monday when we went to EMC. So we went there and um, we were protesting with them and then the police threw stun grenades at us. And then we ran, okay. So that was the first thing, that was in the morning. Then later on, um, a group of students went back. I wasn't one of them. So I was just looking on the Activate's timeline when I saw that they had gone back to EMC. And this time, the police um, had brought hippos, those really big police cars, and were spraying protesters with water. But it wasn't just normal water. It was water infused with chemicals so that people, so it made people like really itchy. I felt the police were being very unnecessary and excessive at that point in time, especially since none of the protesters were armed. From what I've seen, um, I don't feel as though the governments and universities and the government are taking calls to change that are done in any other way seriously. I mean, the fact that we even had to, to shut down for universities to address a lot of these issues is a problem. And I also feel the same way about our government. I mean, the fact that, that Blade said, oh, students are protesting for fashion at the end of last year. He said, oh, when he said, uh, students must fall. You know, it's not... There's definitely, a, I definitely get a sense that the government is not taking us seriously. Or if they're not taking, or, or if they are sort of taking us seriously, they're not understanding the conversation. Like, I mean, when the DA started campaigning, started using Fees Must Fall as an opportunity to campaign, and they didn't even address the issue of free education. Just sort of said, oh, we'll make more bursaries available, when no, what we want is for school fees to decrease, but they didn't even address that. <laughs> 